Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain how to run a command line to restart a computer. In this case, we're going to restart a server 2022 domain controller, but it, this will work just fine on Windows 7 or on pretty much any other operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11, server 2016, whatever you got. We're also going to run it on a schedule. So the, here's the background. We have a client that has a print server that is problematic and it is running some equipment on a shop floor and they have given up trying to resolve the problem and have asked us just to script a restart for them at uh, three o'clock in the morning once a week. So what we've done is right clicked on the desktop, selected new text document, uh, call this restart. Actually, I'm gonna truncate it just so you can see it and then renamed it .cmd. Now, if you don't see your file extensions, what you need to do is go into your file manager, file explorer, go into view and make sure that file name extensions is, is on. Then right click on it and select edit and it will just open up a notepad. And this is the actual command that we have already written. So the command is shutdown, R means restart, F means force, D means the reason. So the reason in this case, P means planned and code 41, well, that is right here. You can type, go bring up a command prompt and type in shutdown slash question mark, and you will get to this. And 41 is application maintenance. So P colon four colon one, that's what that is. And then the slash comment. So what did you want to call it? So in our case, we might write something like, you know, restarting as per CTO instructions to work around printer problem. But here I've just written EN, 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 test, test, test. So we're going to run this through Task Scheduler right now. And when we come back, we'll show you how to look it up in the Event Viewer. So let's go to Task Scheduler. And it doesn't make any difference where you put it. We're going to put it right at the top here. Just right click and create a new, well, this one's really basic. You can just create a new basic task if you want. But we'll create a new full task just so you can see the options. Okay, so the name here is test reboot man line. I don't need a description any more than that. Now, who is going to run this? Well, obviously you want the system to run it. Well, you better have a user that has permissions to restart this machine. Now, in my case, the user is me. This is just my garbage lab, so that's easy for me. But you'll probably want to run yours and we'll run our real production script as someone else. So we just go to change users, select the user. Now we do want it to run whether the user is logged in or not. Okay, let's go to triggers. I'm going to set this for two minutes from now. I'll just set it once, but you could set it to be weekly. So in my case, that's two and a half minutes from now. The actions, what do we want to do? Well, we want to run that script. So we want to start the program, browse, go to the desktop. This is the actual full command. There we go. We have no additional switches for it. Click OK. Conditions, there are none. We want it to reboot no matter what. And settings, well, the only thing we want to change in here is stop the task if it runs longer than one hour. But that's pointless as well. Click OK. And it's prompting for the, my password. Or in your case, prompting for the password of the user that you set to run this as. Click OK. And there it is. And you'll notice right here that the task is not run yet. When we come back, we'll hopefully see this say something like, you know, completed successfully. Now, just to point out, just to for show you that this is going to reboot uh, forcibly, we'll have some garbage in here and you can see the asterisk, meaning this has not been saved. And because this is a forced reboot, it's just gonna boot through it. Okay, here it comes, a couple of seconds and it should kick off. There, it's probably running, there it is, how's that? Now, I'm not going to click anything because this is going to force the logout. It's not asking me, it's telling me. And down she goes. We'll be back in a minute when it comes back up. All right, we're back. So you can see this restarted cleanly. I have no error messages that have popped up. Let's uh, go to the event viewer and see what was logged. So what we want to do is go into the Windows logs and then into system and from memory we're looking for i think it's 1074 let me just see here and there it is yep it's uh, 1074 
and you can see what it would logged here. So we process the shutdown on behalf of me. It was application maintenance. And there's the text that I entered. So hey, if you found this useful, please give us a thumbs up. Very much appreciated. Subscribe's also great. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech, www.urtech.ca if you have any questions. Or just leave a comment below. Somebody will get back to you because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Hope this helped. Bye-bye.